Hello everyone and welcome to today's Sketchmas video. Today the prompt is going to be the perfect tree. That's right, what do you think of when you think of the perfect tree? Originally I was going to do an illustration with marine prickles but then I saw these wooden baubles that you could draw onto and I could not resist. So this is one I created earlier when I was doing a sort of test and all you really need to do this project is some wooden baubles. You can get these from most craft stores and some string as well as your drawing equipment. Now the thing I learned very very quickly is stuff that works really well on this especially if you are drawing straight on is colored pencils if you uh, if you want to do something very colorful um, paints paints work absolutely well on this especially acrylic and you can also use gouache if you want to as well um, and uh, acrylic markers work really well on this as well as you can use alcohol markers but please be aware that your colors will be muted the best way if you actually want to use uh, markers is to use that as your base and then build up on top with colored pencils so then you've got your base already worked out and then you're not going to miss any gaps when you're coloring on top with colored pencils but i digress for this ornament in particular i really wanted to do a throwback to pepper the little mouse that we created the candy cane critter from a few days ago um i really wanted one side to have pepper with a candy cane so that we've got that sort of uh pepper with the candy cane and on the other side i wanted pepper going into a candy cane forest and uh, so that we'd have that sort of tree aspect and because we are putting these under the tree they can make the perfect tree decorated with our own ornaments and I thought that was really really fun um I've been trying to step a little bit outside of the box with some of these prompts instead of just doing a standard drawing every day sort of like trying to do lots of different things and yet again here I am using uh Posca markers I find that Posca markers work on unusual surfaces really well and I'm not very comfortable with acrylic paints I can never really get them to behave the way I want to so acrylic pens is something that really works for me. I try to stick with very simple bold colours. Um, as much as you can over colour and do a lot, I kind of wanted a part of the wooden board at the back to be a big part of this illustration. I really like the way that wooden bubbles may, uh, look and that's why when I did my test one, I just did line work with very simple colouring um, and tried to sort of like do that to kind of uh, enhance the fact that it's on wood i really love doing these and i find that these make perfect gifts customized baubles make absolute perfect gifts for anyone regardless of what holiday um you celebrate they make perfect wall ornaments and they're just really fun to do like if you want a project that um isn't going to take too much time uh, and is going to be a lot of fun this is really fun to do Unfortunately, the medium is not very forgiving, so if you do make a mistake, I have made mistakes. The easiest way to do is just completely paint over your drawing and then go on from there. So it's not the most forgiving of mediums, um, but it's an awful lot of fun, like genuinely. I think everything I've done so far for Sketchmas has just been an absolute delight to do, and I am very, very happy to have done a lot of these projects. <laughs> So this is the peppermint side. I was really happy with this. And after adding my sparkles and adding a little bit of pencils, I was really happy with this side. Like it was just something simple. It didn't require too much illustration. And of course it's got pepper. It's the other side where I decided to go absolutely all out. I wanted to do a big background piece so this was going to unfortunately eliminate all that beautiful brown that we've got in the background um, which is kind of sad but uh, if I'm honest I really like this side of the illustration and uh, you'll see why. I'm starting off with an off-white at the bottom and this is because when doing snow I just don't want a blanket white I want to be able to create lots of texture and lots of color so I start with like a sort of like an off-white sort of cream and then I'll build up my color layers on on top that will include grey, blue, uh, even bits of purple and of course white. This is so that your snow can get a lot of texture in there and it's also just a lot of fun to do. As for the background I really wanted that bold 
bright blue uh, with a sort of like lighter blue as well um, so you can see here I'm sort of mixing the colors I'm going through and I'm putting the lighter color at the bottom and the darker color at the top and then getting a brush and using that to mix the colors in between this is a really fun way to actually blend if you are doing acrylic pens really fun way to actually blend the colors so that you can get that really nice transition and gradation in between I'm adding little clouds here now the problem I have is some of my white markers in particular because I end up using them so often unfortunately just sometimes they get blocks in them and they just don't want to work this is actually a, um, a paint marker that is filled up with my white acrylic paint so what I actually did afterwards was I went and just got my white acrylic uh, acrylic ink and just used that it was just so much easier after I decided to do that um, I'm not as confident with my brush strokes which is why I was really hesitant on doing this um, but overall it was fun this is the part where I was really worried that the whole snow was starting to look like sand because I'd used that used a beautiful cream color and then we've got this beautiful distant sky I was like okay no this is starting to look like sand we need to change that so I'm adding like lots of different textures of like different whites to try and create that sort of snow feeling so my question to you is if you had these baubles what would you paint on them and why what would you create to create your perfect tree i think one year i should definitely just do a marie and prickles framed tree like have it entire thing with marie and prickles um we actually don't put tinsel on our tree because of our cat because uh, the first few years that we did have a Christmas tree um, she loves to climb the tree and pull all the tinsel off and tinsel is actually quite dangerous for cats so we decided just to forebode it all together which makes me really sad because I love tinsel but at the end of the day my health of my cat's a little bit more important because she just chews everything i've had to fight my way out with her getting her out of the tree so much is the reason why the tree has to always be secured she's forever in there so i can imagine as well that marie and prickles would not have tinsel on their tree maybe big ribbons they would have instead we have like um stringed pearls uh, which go up on the tree uh, i don't know i just really like decorating my tree it's one of my favorite things about the holidays <laughs> i just like decorating it makes me very very happy <laughs> um so this is what i'm saying about like i'm trying to create this like sort of like candy cane forest area feel and uh, deepening like the background and um, adding a, a very light pencil to a lot of the things i wanted it to feel like a scene from a children's storybook so i didn't want to go really bold with a lot of the colors i was trying to create this really soft feeling so you have the contrast of one side having sort of like pepper uh, with the candy cane just a very simple illustration and then the background we've got a little bit more on the other side we've got a little bit more of a detailed illustration um and then just creating all these candy canes was really really fun um they look like cat's tails to me when a cat's tail has like the little question mark so it always makes me laugh whenever i see a candy cane <laughs> i don't know that's just my weird brain thinking <laughs> And here we have like I'm just adding some very simple lines not trying to add too much that's too bold just trying to define like the foreground versus the background because I don't want to go over the top if you add like too many lines to the background it sort of makes the background stand out a lot more when we want the foreground to stand out more than the background so it's just a few of the ones that I did um, I think in the end I ended up creating eight baubles um, but these ones are my favorites so here we are and you can see that I've added a slight sheen to it this is just Mod Podge on top it's nothing special just a little bit of Mod Podge to just seal your artwork in you can use another sealant but this is something that's most commonly what people have to hand and as to tie the string uh, it's really simple to do I'll just show you my way of doing it I basically measure out um, something like about eight centimeters uh, to 15 centimeters depending on how tall you want your string I actually end up cutting this down by a fair bit and what I do is I tie a knot 
and the area with the knot goes through the loophole first so you'll see me what I'm going to do here that goes through the loophole first because I want that knot to be at the top so I'm just scooping it through like so so that the knot ends up at the top of the bauble and not at the bottom this just makes it look a little bit cleaner and here we are so these are the ones that i've put up so far and i'm just showing you i'm putting them up up my tree this is my tree this year we've got it really decorated um we've got all sorts of baubles our trees theme this year is sort of like a red and green theme um i like I said, I love decorating a tree. It's one of my all-time favourite things to do. We've got candy canes on there, Christmas puds. We absolutely love wooden ornaments. Um, it's one of our favourite things to do. Um, and I think our tree's theme last year was animals. And we have like lots of animal ornaments. But I digress. Here are all the ornaments that I created. As you can see, every single one's got a variation. Both, they've got two sides to them. Some of glitter on them some don't and overall just a really fun project i did this actually over two nights um just relaxing and it was a lot of fun just to chill and not have to like over worry about what i was doing and they were really fun <laughs> some returning characters <laughs> as you can see and i think this one might be my favorite because this little character just looks so happy and then on the other side you've got this like derpy dog i don't know i really like it let me know which one is your favorite and tomorrow will be nutcracker couture so i hope that you are looking forward to that and i really thank everyone for watching all the 12 days of sketchmas videos so far i really hope that you've been enjoying them and we'll see you later. Enjoy what you do, love what you do, and as always folks, stay creative.